Shrek might just be like the best okay. cinematic masterpiece I've ever seen in my life. Welcome everybody back to the Into the Geek First podcast. I think this is episode 11 or 12. I cannot remember off the top of my head, but this is a very special one because Tyler's not just back. Phil's taking a break, but we have our good friend George here. Hi. Uh, I've known George the same amount of time as I've known Tyler and Phil since about seventh grade. Yeah. And to say the least, uh, George is a wild one, uh, but a good wild one that I am very happy to have on here uh, when he asked me when he gets to come on. Uh, I said, well, we have a good topic, so <laughs> let's uh, let's bring you on, and this is it. So there's a lot we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the Venom 3 final trailer, Linkin Park is back, uh, some movie reviews. He's been playing Black Myth Wukong in oh, Quidditch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm also going to review the Killers game. Uh, My Old Ass also comes out this following week, but there's a cool little discussion that I want to have about that movie that I think gets more into a deeper thought-provoking thing for us. And the PlayStation 5 Pro was announced, which... Uh, does not look like it's worth the money whatsoever, but we're going to talk about that. But how I like to do this is when we have guests, I like to get the audience to know them, whether they're on the internet already or not at all. And George is just one of our closest friends. So we're going to interview him, let you guys get to know him a little bit. Uh, George, just if you could describe yourself in one word, what would you say? In a word. It's a good question. Yeah. I just thought about that right now. It's not even in the notes. Oh. Party wants to just say schizophrenic. Okay. Is that fair? Yeah, that's if fair. Have, that's fair. What you want to say. Why, yeah. why do you think that? Like, why would you say schizophrenic? Oh, dude, when I'd be, I'd be saying the wildest shit sometimes, especially when I'm by myself. Like, yeah. You guys don't see, maybe you hear me when I'm by myself because <laughs> we live together. But I'd be saying some weird stuff by myself, just some shit that I, like my grandma used to be schizophrenic. And I'd be like, mm-hmm. oh, I'll be saying shit like that. But do you hear him say weird shit? Sometimes. Sometimes? Like just by sometimes. myself. I'll be saying something just like, like coming downstairs. Well, I was about to say, what's the weirdest thing you've ever heard? Like you just coming downstairs. I don't or... have something. I don't have anything off the top of my head. Okay. We, we, we say some funny ass disses though. Okay. I mean, no. Like George, you are a cucumber that wants to be zucchini. Yeah. You know, shit like that. No, but like I'm talking about like, I'll be, I'll be in the living room just like playing video games nonchalantly, quietly without saying anything. And then I'll just start like blabbering like that while like the kid from the wild thornberries. And he's like, <laughs> oh, uh, uh that Donnie. I have heard. Yeah, yeah, just like out of nowhere, you know, like shit like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. you know. Okay, I have a I have a follow up question to this then. What, <laughs> what, do you, what do you like? What, what, what do you think that equates from? Like, have you just always been like that? Like, I know you have, but like, oh yeah, like as a younger kid. Oh stuff? yeah, oh yeah. for sure, for sure. I used to be more like just energetic as a child, like hype, yeah. like physically. Like I remember, like we used to live in a two story house, and I would jump off on the second story floor. Cause like me and my mom had an office with a giant window, and I would jump from the window onto the couch on the second story next to the stairs. Like I'd have to like jump yeah. like, through the stairs, and my mom would be like, "What the?" And I would just be like running around crazy. That's that ADHD. Do you remember when we played hide and go seek at my parents' house outside, and you climbed on my neighbor's roof? You guys, and that's where you were hiding at. You guys didn't find me until I announced myself. I know. And two things happened for me in a heart attack. One, that neighbor hates our family. Two. I looked up there and I said, Jesus Christ, is he going to die today? And he ran down like fucking King Kong, like fucking nothing. And then did you jump to the fence to get off? Yeah, I did. did. Dude, He he literally fucking parkoured this shit. He was pulling Assassin's Creed I did used to do parkour. I did. I remember. Back when I was like, I don't know, like 11 or something like that. I used to hang out with the tough crowd. Yeah. Yeah, in Gilbert. Okay. At the Boys and Girls Club. I love that. We would get crazy. We do parkour. We're at, no, like seriously, we would like jump on buildings and stuff. We used to like there's like a little gymnasium in the boys and girls club, and we would have like these blue mats and stack them on top of each other, and they would be pretty high. And we would just like do like flips and stuff over and just like practice. What made you want to do that? Just we I had, there was like these like two at the time I was like eleven or like ten or something like that, and there was these two older guys who were like ooh like sixteen, eighteen yeah. years old around that age, and they were like. um like ROTC, like military type okay. of guys, but they were like into parkour, so they were like, "Let's do that with training and stuff like that." And then me and this other guy, I can't remember who it was, but I was, I was, I was better than him. I know that because he kept falling on his ass, and I was f- performing beautifully. So like, we he was like, "You guys want to like run with us?" And then we would go and we would just like scale like small buildings of like the downtown yeah. Gilbert area back in the day, and we would just like jump, cl- climb those buildings, and like just do flips and stuff over like cars and stuff like that. It was actually really fun. I did it for like. Like a good like. Two Did you get summers. back into this? Man, I'm way too old now. No, too you can lazy. Do it. You can do it. I'm my every knees. Every day, chest. Every day. My stomach. You guys got a big backyard. 
You see how much you see? Do you see how many burritos? I've eaten like four burritos in the last twelve hours. That's okay. cool. You do it, then it like runs off, you know. I guess. So, so disperse so yeah. Enough. In the last two days, I've <laughs> eaten so many burritos. It's insane. <laughs> I've just been feeling burritos more more than usual. Okay, well that goes to another quote. Is that your favorite food? Like, is a burrito your go to? Oh yeah, without a doubt. What's your t- favorite type of burrito? The, the, Cal- Cal- the California. Yeah, for sure. Okay. That if, like, from where? Yeah, I was about I, to say. Dude, I don't care. Like, like every time I go to a place that offers a California burrito, I will test it out, engage it, and compare it to other places. So would you consider yourself a California burrito connoisseur? Absolutely. If you need a place, like if, like if you're like Jorge, what what constitutes a good California? I'm like, dude, dude. First, first, I mean, first you got is you got to see in the back. They got to be playing their, they got to be playing their music. Okay. They got to be playing that band of music loud as hell. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter what kind of time of day. Yeah. Like I went, I went to the one right now. It's like nine a.m. They're blasting that band. I'm like, oh, okay. this is gonna be good. So you, yeah, you knew instantly. Yeah, yeah. And then he, man, he, we only spoke in Spanish, and I was like, oh, this, is, yeah, like, and like, and like white, like white people were taking his like order before me, and they were like, can I get like three tacos? And he was like, okay, okay, okay. And I pulled them like, hola, hey, like all of my Cuban stuff though. So he was like, what? Because you know Mexicans don't really understand that they don't really know Cubans. Mm-hmm. They'll say like what the hell, but maybe it means what's up, you know? Yeah. He started chopping them in Spanish, and I was like, "Yeah, I need that like to go like now." You know what I mean? And he was like, "Hey, put them in front of the white people real quick, you know?" And then so I got you know I got a little priority on the waiver wire, and I got my burrito first, and they were kind of mad about it. But to be fair, I, I as I was leaving, they were going to their card too. I saw, and they had like a huge order. So like, yeah, you you deserve to go first. Yeah, you're yeah. in a rush. Yeah, I was to be rush. here to be here. Yeah, to be here, and like. Clearly, they didn't seem to be in a rush. They, they didn't do that. Though. They I just wanted my burrito. Yeah, one they, burrito. They weren't going to a podcast studio or anything. No, they like weren't. That. Absolutely not. But, yeah. ooh, a Cal- the Stranded Island, they get one food choice for the rest of your life, a burrito. If I was on, like, death row and they're like, this is your last dinner, I'm like, give me 50 burritos and I'm going to ruin your guys' day tomorrow <laughs> with the cleanup. But I'm going to eat all of them. Bro, can you imagine that? Because you shit. Like, you let everything out when you die, right? Yeah, yep. yeah, for so, sure. So, like, that's what you'd want to leave. If they Would you want the the needle or would you want, the like, the electric chair? Uh, I don't think they do the electric chair. Yeah, theoretically, if they did. Oh, okay. If I, do, you think, do you think they would if you requested? Maybe. I don't I, no, I think it's considered inhumane at this point. So is I, it, but is I, it? It's also depending on state. Is it? Is it humane? Is it inhumane, though, if I request it? Like, hey... I want the chair. Don't give me that needle stuff. I'm not a puss. I don't just. I don't think they have it though. Uh, come on, you know they. You know they have it. They just just sitting in storage. But they'll pull it out if you ask. It's you in know? the. It's yeah. in the basement. You know, you, you can pull it out. It still so works. It's like fifty California burritos, and then they do the electric chair. Oh, Honestly, I'll probably die smell, eating all the burritos. <laughs> like I remember that. Remember that episode of Family Guy where Peter eats like fifty burgers and has a stroke. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably just be like. Don't get me. Just like, just like, leave yeah. me. Just leave me there. Like, that's how yeah. I want to go. Like, don't even bother putting me in the chair or giving me because, like, just, just watch me have a stroke. You guys can have a laugh about it too. If I'm gonna die, have a yeah. laugh. Go ahead. Just let, just watch me. Just lose it. Yeah. I, that's a not. That's not a bad way to go out. How'd you, how'd you die? Uh, I have fifty burritos, and then I had a stroke of good fortune. Hey, and, and that's how it goes. So. Going back to your island conversation, that's the one food you'd have, right? For sure. All right, so I'm going to rail off some stuff, too, that you can bring to this island. But okay. Only one thing. Okay? All right, all right. So all right. theoretically, electricity works here and shit. That's a you crazy island. You can have internet and of, stuff. Why not? It's a crazy island. I got, I got I'm a <laughs> stranded that's island like crazy. with yeah. burritos, Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like your, it's like your paradise, basically, oh, even though you're stranded. Like, okay. you're just stuck there forever. Basically just exiled. This yeah, is a, This yeah. is a very wonderful situation. Yeah. I like, let's play this okay. out. So uh, what's your favorite movie? You know, this is the geek verse, so I, I want to, like, the audience is going to want to know. What's the number one movie? Dude, okay, I knew you were going to ask me this, Yeah. but I was thinking on this on the way here, and I was like, dude, it's like a three-way tie for, now for, like, like love, love grew, love grew is like oh my god, yeah. my, one of my faves. But I love Borat, and like oh dude, like just like those. Shitty. But honestly, I was thinking about it. Shrek might just be like the best okay. cinematic masterpiece I've ever seen in my life. Okay, and like, why I is love, that? Like, why do you think Shrek is like that? Sh- Shrek the is the first great. one, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, all of them are great though. All of them. Are great. Okay. I, lo- I love singing in the second one though. Yeah, you know that one's what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. But that first one, man, it's like you watch it as a kid and you're like. I don't understand half the shit they're saying, and I love it. You yeah, know, you're like talking donkey and fairies, funny ogre, and it's still it's still a blast. 
And then you watch it when you're older, and you're like, oh, this show, th- this movie is. And, th- and this is this is why incredible. You're not the type to run out and go see every movie every weekend. But when Shrek Five comes out, you'll be there first day, right? I mean, yeah. So if that you, if you get early access. I hope you take me, dude. That's like my thing. I know, but that's like my thing is that I was telling him I was like, if anything was ever to beat Star Wars: The Force Awakens, like box office in the United States, I think Shrek Five would be it. Shrek, absolutely, dude. Dude, Shrek. I remember when it was like 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 seven something years ago, and they made Shrek considered to be a, uh, a like an influential cinematic masterpiece. Like they were like it's a like it's an influential movie, like top fifty or something like that. And I was like, oh, that, that's right, that's right. The cultural significance that Shrek okay. has in our age, yeah. particularly, is at, like it's just powerful. Yeah, powerful. Mo- it's like, super influential. I love that. No, Shrek is incredible, and like Donkey, they're hanging that Donkey spinoff not rat too. So, so that's actually funny because there's a scooper that I talked to. He was telling me like a bunch of scoops yesterday about like a bunch of different shit. He like helps write scripts. I have no idea who the fuck this man is. I don't know what his real name is. I don't know any of that shit. I just know. But he was telling me that Donkey will come after Shrek 5. So Shrek 5, however it ends, it'll go into the Donkey spinoff and then Donkey will pursue and go back into like uh, a That's Shrek fine with me. As long as I get more Eddie Murphy, man. I don't like yeah. that, man. Eddie Murphy's awesome. I like Eddie Murphy's awesome. Eddie Murphy is great as Donkey. So, you know, stand up, as right. acting. So, so you're taking Shrek to this island, right? I, w- I, mm, I might, yeah, I probably would take Shrek. Cool. So Shrek VHS shows up. <gasps> it's sitting right there. VHS? Yeah, you, you get yeah, a VHS, VHS, man. All right, no Blu-ray. No, no Blu-ray. That's crazy. But now... Tube TV. Yeah, Tube TV. I'll take that. But you got a flat screen over here that you can play any game on. What, and, what, what's your favorite game? I have to play one game for One game. So life. no franchise. I'm going to ask you franchise in a little bit. So don't worry about if franchise. I, if I was stuck on this island, forced to play one game for the rest of my life. Yeah. Oh, dude. Honestly, it might just be Smite. Okay. Because, Are you still playing that? I, 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 mean, I dabble every once in a while. Okay. I'll probably maybe like be like a game or two a day. Okay. Maybe, maybe just to check in and see how things are going. Okay. You know, but like, I, but like in the last like year, I haven't played too much. I just started picking that up again like a month okay. or two ago. Just yeah, because I was like, I thought you didn't play that. No, game just, just, I just dabble every once in a while. Okay. You know. I thought right. you were gonna say two K. I, I see. I see, thought he was gonna see, say two K. See, too. I thought. See, you guys thought I was gonna say two K, but the thing is, two K changes every year and. Like, do I, do I get, like, one version? One version. Like, yeah. one, do I get yeah. one year of 2K? Yeah. I could but what if Smite shuts down? You don't get to play it anymore. Okay, but then if that's the thing. Like, I was going to say, like, 2K, like, 16. Yeah. But they don't, their servers are down. They don't, yeah. they don't, they're in. Okay, I see where you're going. Okay. Years I, ago, I, it's fair. It's you fair. Know what I mean? But if you're like, oh, like, this new 2K? Like, no, no, no. Okay. No. All right, so Smite loaded onto the Smite probably be, like, just because of the repeat. I can just jump cool. in and play that. You know, I can play, like, 10 yeah. hours without a day. That's fine. Perfect. All right. Favorite TV show? Number one show you could watch, like rewatch. Just my, just a comfort show, rewatch. It could be comfort. It could be just your favorite show of all time that you would bring with you. Oh man, if we're talking like comfort shows, shoot, Friends is up there for me. Mm-hmm. But I also love. I've seen The Office way too many times. That '70s show, George George Lo- George Lopez might might be that one. Honestly, George Lopez okay. might be that one. I I grew up watching right. that so many times all right so nice george lopez's uh, vhs to start loading up for you Another so there VHS. you go yeah, all right. yeah that's fine all right favorite franchise movie and game so you get to choose one movie and one game franchise you can bring it with you so i guess yeah you get in a little bit of an additional all right all right movie. Now you're giving him some leeway yeah you know? i'm giving him some leeway now. i mean i, I got i got uh, this island i have you know yeah. we I, gotta let him have paradise. i got a vhs you know i got a flat screen you know yeah, they're being and leaning with this and i want to let you know so like if you pick a video game I don't know, say uh, Fallout. You get any book, anything from this franchise to come with you. So, like, you know, keep that in mind. All right, all right. Same thing with the movie wise. So, you get to pick right, two. Uh, movie franchises. Movie franchise, I would probably have to go with Lord of the Rings. Okay. That's or, what I was waiting for. Or, or honestly, I, a sleeper, Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay. I love that. I Lo- love Pirates. Lo- love my Pirates. Love my Pirates. Are you a Pirates fan? Yeah, you're yeah, a Pirates fan. Yeah, yeah. He's part of POTC. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I was Who making sure. No. Davy Jones. You're yeah, a, he was Davy Jones. Who are you? I was Barbosa, but I changed it to Teodoma. Okay. For everyone's point of view, our Call of Duty clan name is POTC. It still was when I was playing the beta. I, just, I was playing Warzone like a couple weeks ago, and I was like, hell yeah, it's still POTC. Yeah. And then Curtis is the Kraken. What was Alex? I think he was He's Blackbeard. Blackbeard. And then who was Taylor? Barbosa. No, I was Barbosa. I. I think he was Will Turner. Was he? Okay. I think, or Bootstrap. No, he was Bootstrap. Oh, okay. Bootstrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was Bootstrap Bill. He was Bootstrap yeah, Bill. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was always like Bootstraps, Bootstraps. I love, I love that this yeah, is yeah. like what our, 
like our thing associates with. <laughs> you know what's throwing it back? You know it's funny because yeah. we were at the bar last night, me and Taylor as well, and Duffy and him, but until he did so. But we were talking about Pirates of the Caribbean after that for a while. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so now I was like, oh, no, dude, I'm going to I'm gonna get home and I want to watch Pirates. And I started watching Pirates and I started watching it while I was getting ready on my way here. And I was just, I, mean, I love that franchise. It kinda, I, I think you got to pick that one because you're on a deserted island. It kind of fits the theme. You know, what's, you know what's the coincidence, like the funniest part of that? The part I, I was like putting it on my phone listening to it while I was driving here. And the part where I stopped before I walked in was where it's in the first one where uh, Jack and uh, Elizabeth were sent to the uh, stranded island together. Yeah. And they're like, how you get off? And he was like, all I did was drink for like three days. And then the, <laughs> and then the pirate and then the Navy just like or some merchants like picked me up. Uh, that, like, just no that room. part. Yeah. <laughs> just no room. Oh, no room at all. Okay. No I like that. And gaming franchise, Kingdom Hearts. Is that the one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't think any other franchise beats that for you, right? I mean, there's, I, mean I got contenders like Last of Us. Yeah. But I mean, I wouldn't consider Last of Us just yet unless they made like a third one because there's only two games. That's how I see. That's exactly how I feel when people there's only, ask there's only me two. There was, there was at yeah. least like three. I'd be like, all right, my Last of Us franchise. Yeah. But Kingdom Hearts has like what, like, Seven, eight, nine, ten games or whatever. Yeah. I don't even know. And then just on consoles, they have books. They have yeah, they have like all this that, stuff. Yeah. But um, I mean, they got there's a lot of games. Like different like Red Dead. But it's yeah. all like I said, only two games. I mean, they've had like the other old ones, but like I mean, who I am playing that. Okay, so you Kingdom know, Hearts. I would say. I want to know what's your favorite franchise, Tyler? Like favorite movie and game franchise? It could be something you grew up with. It could be something current. Mm. That's a tough one. Yeah. I'm going to go more of the nostalgic route. Okay. Not more modern because the first one that pops into my head is Resistance. Okay. That's a great one. Um, But throwing it back, Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper. Oh, Ooh, man. Great pick. Great pick. Oh. And for movie? For movie? Uh, Doesn't have to be good nowadays, but. Oh, for sure. I want. I'd... Star Wars 1 through 6. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. That's a good pick. I it, it's yeah. wild because I think for a while I would have said Star Wars, but I think I have to say Toy Story now because now it's like after a third film, it's like yeah, okay, now yeah. you have four and then you have five and then you got spin off shit like right. shorts and now it's like a franchise. Honestly, yeah. I wouldn't have put you down for Star Wars. Honestly, he grew yeah, up I with would, the shit. Out of no, yo, yeah, yeah. I just you know I did you know these it, days. It was stuff. also I mean, and that's why I said Star Wars one through six. Right, because right, I don't right. like yeah. the other anything right. else. But if we're only like franchise that is still had. Uh, I haven't watched Rings of Power, but I was also thinking Lord of the Rings too. Lord Rings of Power Lord. season two is so good. I'll check it's it out. It's so much better than season one. Yeah. By the way, I was like, I was thinking, I was thinking about this like yes or two days ago. I was like, I'm gonna get a Sly Cooper tattoo. That'd be cool. I don't know if I want the cane or like his little like logo of like the face. Why not both? Why not do the the logo of the or face and then the cane those. through it? Oh, oh, see, no, okay, yeah, that's decided. That's see? decided. There yeah. you go. Oh, there shout out go. to Jack and Dexter as well. Yeah. Oh, Dude, pl- I've been playing Astrobot. Yeah, 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 it's, it's fucking incredible. It's the reviews the are great. I saw a couple of clips. And it's just the, it's the best game of the year. Oh, okay. Like I, I genuinely like. I got Space Marine and I got this. I could give two fucks about Space Marine. That's nice. The only reason I've not played more of Astrobot is because my wife likes to play it. So like, I play it only with her. That's fair. But like, and it's like the first. Uh, it's like Super Mario Galaxy. Go to a galaxy. Yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. The first galaxy, I was like, oh, this is cute. This is easy. I ate my words. The next galaxy you go to, they have these challenge levels. They One took me at least 45 minutes to beat. Because there's no saves. It's just straightforward. If you die, you got to fucking restart all the way. I want to retract an answer I said about my favorite series. Okay. Game, gaming series. It's, not, it's, it's the Dark Souls series. Oh. Okay, Souls so series. like Elden Ring. All, uh, of all of them. All of them. All of them. Okay. All of them. Fair enough. I can play that. What if they made a Kingdom Hearts Souls game? Is that the evolution that Square Enix should take forward next? I mean, that, I mean, the way the evolutions of gaming, a single player gaming, going everything, they're taking the soul based model. Yeah. So, I'd be cool with it. Okay, sweet, I'd, that'd be dope. Yeah, I would say, I would say the the, the Souls series. Okay, yeah. Oh last last thing to take to your to the silent favorite music artist. One music artist to listen to for the rest of your life on this uh, island. Little Wayne, man. Little Wayne. Okay, the go, that's a good pick. The go. That's a good pick, man. Little Wayne. I grew. Up, he was my first rapper I ever. I love heard. that. And it'll be the last one. I love it. Yeah, that's a, a very hard one. It, it, oh, it's little, tough. Little Wayne, man. Wheezy F baby. Shouts out to Wheezy yeah. F Tunchi. So, 
uh, what other questions we got for him? Now we're going to get into some things that are not geeky. Um, any favorite memories you have? Yeah, from high school. From high school? Yeah, or anything. I mean, it could be afterwards, too. Favorite memories, man. I mean, I've done a lot with my life so far. I've done, I have a lot of great memories. Uh, it could even be recent, man. Recent that burrito I just ate. <laughs> I was, okay. That was fucking fantastic. <laughs> okay. I don't know. That was a great memory. Uh, damn, I've had a lot of good memories. One really good memory, like, you, like your wedding was mm-hmm. good. That was fun. Uh, graduating uh, with my bachelor's and my master's, that was gratifying. Uh, your party was fun. But I don't remember my party. I have a video of you singing. You had like no hair. I know. When I find it in my phone. I had a buzz cut phase. Yeah. 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 You know what's funny? I showed my girlfriend that the other day and she was like, you actually look really good with that. I'm like, shut shut up. Shut up. I hate that. No, I could not. I thought you looked good. I was not a fan of it. Okay. It was weird. I will, I will, I won't lie. It was nice to like do this all the time, but I couldn't get behind like actually going out with it. I just didn't like it. You didn't want to pull Curtis? No, I did not. (laughs) I did not want to pull Curtis. That dude, he has a shiny head though. I'll give him that. I know. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful shiny head. He's like touching it. Always. I want to touch his head all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I always want to rub his head. Shout out to you, Curtis, when you're listening to this in the field. Love you, buddy. Love you, man. I really really want to rub your shiny head. Yeah. (laughs) You should just show up one day when he's working. Just walk up, touch his head, and leave. I think he'd be mad. I have his location. Just ask me, and I'll just send you where he's at. That's fine. Okay. So. I might, I, I might just, if he's in this out of town, I might just. I think you might as well. Yeah. 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 I might. Well, if, okay. he's in, if he's like, like 15 or less minutes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll right. probably do it. That'd be some fun. So I know you love history. I know you love history. I remember when Napoleon was coming out, you were asking me how it was. Oh, yeah. It's not a good movie. But if you could time travel to any time period in the past, where would it be? Oh, Who man. Who would you like to meet? And you can only go in the past. Like, no future shit. No I don't, movie. I have no interest in the future. I love the past. Oh, man. That's so, I Man. Would it be back to where the Tumblr girl, the Tumblr gif, got stuck on the computer? Oh, that was oh, that's traumatic. That was tough. The first time I think we were on his computer and some Tumblr. Were we on Tumblr? Yeah, we were just yeah, on, on Tumblr. On Tumblr. And Rest it was this two girls making out like naked yeah. gif, and it got stuck. Yeah. <laughs> like it just got stuck. It wasn't. It, was it your dad's computer? It was my dad's computer. And then he walked by and he's like, what are you guys doing on my computer? <laughs> he's like, like, you have your own computer right fucking there. What are we doing here? And I was like, we were just, it, I, you, you guys know my dad. I tried to convince my stern father yeah. that we weren't looking at porn, porn together <laughs> on his computer and that this is just Tumblr. And then we were just stuck. In it. Like, he just wouldn't buy it. Like, it, he's just like... No, there's, your dad's no. not buying that. No, he's like, dude, you guys are sick. Together? <laughs> yeah, no, it was awful. Yeah. It was awful. He had to leave like but that. yeah, way. history, man. History, man. History. If I had to go back to any time piece. Now, okay, it, am, I, am I here as like a spectator? Spectator, yeah. You can't die. You can't do anything. I'm like just you, che- you just can view it. I'm just so checking... almost like a ghost. I'm just kinda. checking this shit out front row seats to anything I want. Yeah. You can interact with stuff if you want. Kind of like, remember how Indy did in Dial of Destiny? Oh, okay. So it's something like so that. So I can alter some things? Um, honestly, then, I mean, I think you'd have to check out World War II. Okay. Like, right in the middle of that shit? You know, if I'm going to be spectating it, maybe. Yeah. Like, I want, like, like, like take, take me to D-Day. You know what I mean? Fuck. Like, if, I, if I'm going to be fine, just put me on the beach right there. I'm just going to watch. I'm like, damn. Would you bring pop? Would you bring a snack? I'm bring a couple of burritos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, the, the, what's the, the what? What question we got next, Tyler? You got one. Yes. Your relationship with weed. I don't yeah, have a relationship a, with weed. This is one that we have. I don't have a relationship with weed. I used to. I used to smoke a so ton of dang. That's what we wanted to ask: is Have you seen any benefits to not smoking a ton every day? Do you feel like you were like addicted do you feel like maybe it ruined parts of your life at all or do you not honestly yeah yeah Yeah. honestly i mean i the the amount of weed that i used to smoke yeah for sure i used to think at Mm -hmm. the time i was like yeah this is great i'm fine looking back at it i was like i've had any excuse that i had to smoke all that weed back then uh was was ridiculous i did there's no there's no need for me to smoke an ounce in like a day and a half there really isn't no need for that, but I would, I would, and and you know now now that I'm older and I don't, it, it it's nice 
because one, one, I don't feel my lungs dying as often. Cause I mean, I also used to vape and stuff too. Yeah. I mean, I still do a little bit here and there. But you're trying to quit. I'm trying to quit. But I mean, if you, you know, if I was doing both at the same time so much at the same time, like, you know, my lungs would, you know, mm-hmm. get tight and stuff. And I, I didn't like that. And honestly, my memory, my memory, I'm not, like, like truly like, it's just not like, I like, oh, I'm stoned. And I just like forgot, like, you know, cause I'm stoned. It's like me trying to remember certain things, but I can't because I was too high at the time and I can't even remember certain things. And that kind of sucks because I, I'm sure there was plenty of good memories, mm-hmm. you know, that I just missed out on or just can't remember. Um, but I guess my excuse at the time was just, you know, let me forget the bad memories temporarily. Yeah. You Your know, self-medication, kind of self-medication, man, that would be my excuse, you know? So it's, it's, it's refreshing to not be like, like that anymore. So it's, it's really nice, but I, yeah, I used to, I was, I was carried away for sure. Addicted mm-hmm. to weed. Yeah, for okay. sure. I have an addictive personality by, by nature. And you, like, that's something that good, man. Like, yeah, there, there's, there's, of course I was going to be on that for a long time. Mm-hmm. I feel so. like weed is also that kind of tricky thing that mistress because it's overall in the beginning. So it's like, you know, like alcohol, you drink too much. You're going to feel like a bad negative effect within mm-hmm you know, a couple of hours, right? Throwing up, blah, blah, blah. And with weed, it's like, you can smoke a lot and you're going to get high, but it doesn't seem like there's a huge detriment to your health and it doesn't seem very apparent at the moment. It's only once you realize, like, he says, like, can't remember some, like, memories or anything like that or whatever it may be. <laughs> it's Even Papa Zen. different. It's yeah. different. Mm-hmm. I don't know, it's because I'm like an out cider to this the only time i ever smoked was with you guys <laughs> you know and that's because so. that's because you'd be drinking and we would take advantage of it <laughs> well actually you would ask you'd be drinking about you let me yeah, hit yeah, that yeah, and i'd be not? like all right yeah, yeah why not you know but yeah fun. yeah know. it's fun but yeah it's, it's i'm fun. always interested to hear like more from like two people who like did smoke a lot you know yeah. um and how you guys feel because i i do feel like especially like maybe not now but i feel like a couple years ago people would be like you can't get addicted to weed. Like people would say like that is the dumbest thing I've sure. ever heard. Anything's mm-hmm. addictive. Exactly. Anything. Every, anything and everything is addictive. Here, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing about weed. Weed in itself is not addictive. It's it's the feeling that you get that you're addicted to. Mm. You know, like it's not it's not like weed has chemicals in it that'll make you addicted. But but damn, you know, I feel good when I'm high. It, I just want to keep chasing that feeling, mm-hmm. you know. So what? So what substitutes this high feeling now for you? Being a nice sober Christian. No, I'm playing. <laughs> no. Um, Had nice. Uh, honestly, you, you just you find you find ways to make yourself busy. Okay. You know, you just try not. It's not out of sight, out of mind type thing. Okay. You know, at least that's how it is for me. Um, you just. Just can't be around it because if I'm around it, I'm going to want to partake mm-hmm. just because I'm who I am, you know? Well, that's perfect because we actually have an ounce of weed in that closet right now that we want you to smoke on set. I will be doing that. <laughs> no, <laughs> just kidding. I will be doing um, that. I want to know about your girly, your girlfriend, because I haven't gotten to meet her yet. I've just heard things about her. Oh, she's wonderful. Good things. Wonderful. So. She's wonderful. Yeah. We were been coworkers for like three years. Mm-hmm. Uh and it's very, it's very, it's very like the office gym and Pam thing. Like she's always had a thing for me. I've had a thing for her, but we we're just like coworkers who never really like talked about it, but like just good coworkers. And then, uh, we just got a little closer one day and then a little closer and closer. And then now we're together and it's just, uh, she's wonderful. She's very beautiful, very kind and very, uh, just man, she go with the flow. Super easy, man. Cool. Super easy. She like, still work with you? Yeah. Or you guys still work with it? Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. Do you want to talk a little bit about your work at all or not? Nah? Uh, yeah, if you guys want to know, I yeah. mean, I'm a, I'm a, a behavior therapist for kids with autism. So, I mean, I, I spend my days, you know, having a uh, clients and I just hang out them, provide ABA service, them therapy, teach them right from wrongs. Um, it's, it's, it's a great, it's a great job. I, I love what I do. It's so fun. It's, it's never, you know, like the same, 
you know, clock in, clock out type of day. Every every day is different because every kid is so unique. Mm-hmm. And I work in a, an environment where there's just like, it's not me and my just client, but we have multiple clients. And it's nice because I get to just interact with all the kids and they, you know, my kid interacts with all the kids. And it's it's fun. It's fun. Every day is different. They always want to play different games, different things. They, they find new words or things to learn and say. And so you like come back. I have one. I have, there's like this one little girl at our at our place, and she's adorable. Um, like the other day, she came back and she was saying that skibbity toilet shit. You know what I mean? And I was just like, oh god damn it! But like, it's nice to see that. Like, I she's feel so out of things. it when I hear someone say that because I had to look that up. Like, Man, a it couple makes days ago. Makes, I, w- I was like, I was like on like Instagram the other day, and then it was this like meme, and it's like skibbity toilet Ohio Riz, and I was like, what? <laughs> Why are they talking about Ohio like that? What has Ohio done to be? Yeah. What? And, but and like the way they're saying these kids are saying they're saying Ohio like it's in a bad way. I'm like what has Ohio ever done? I mean like it's not a great place to be. Sure, like if you guys ever yeah. been to Cleveland, is you don't have to. You're not mm-hmm. missing out, okay? But the fact is that they're. I mean that's probably why because you know. But still, out of all the things that they could like choose to put a negative word for, they chose Ohio, and none of it makes sense. Mm-hmm. None of it makes sense to me. But it's super fun and hilarious to watch these kids just be saying it. Yeah. Out of nowhere, like don't just be playing around. Like, give me the toilet, Ohio toilet raise. And I'm like, you're six. What are you talking about? I don't understand like modern day uh, slang and stuff like that. Okay, but neither did like, our, I, I, can, neither, like, neither, I get it. But I just neither did our parents. So our, what, we were saying some dumb shit. But you know, our our parents are adults our age back then. You know, they're just like, what? The? Do you think they're even more out of it now? Like when they hear this stuff? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. I and mean, we were saying dumb shit, but not like outlandishly yeah. dumb shit. Yeah. Like what, what the hell is skibbity toilet? Yeah. yeah. Why are you Why are you purposely saying the word toilet? The skibbity part I get behind that, that's just like some silly wording. But why are you guys saying toilet? Yeah. That that that's weird to me. It is weird. That's weird to me. I, I'm not a fan of skibbity toilet. One slang word that I just don't really. I just don't like it because it just. I don't know. It just sounds dumb as riz. Riz. I don't get it either. It's like just charisma. Like I, I know, I like I understand it. I just don't. So like, like instead it. of swag, it's Riz now. No, 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 no. Basically, in a way. I was, no, no, no. Oh wait, no, no. Yeah, no, you're no. right. You're like, right. It's like, not. Like, it's like, not. Riz is really short for charisma. So like, like if you like if you know like I'm trying to approach you, Zach, and I'm like, you know, I'm saying some some real good stuff, and I'm laying down some good work, and you're like falling for my words. That's good, Riz. That's good Riz. I'm being re- good charismatic. Okay. But if I'm over here trying to pull some Riz and you're like, get the fuck away from me, that's bad Riz. If I'm, if I'm saying stuff that's just not working for you, that's bad Riz. This shit's dumb. Bad charisma. <laughs> it's so It's, so, it's dumb. so stupid. It's so stupid. But whatever, kids are going to say whatever. You do one more question, I do one more question. It uh, doesn't have to be off that list I, either. You know what's fun is I like uh, questions. No, I, like, I, li- I like getting Me questions, you. but I hate I hate asking questions. Yeah. Ask us questions. No, no. I just I oh. hate asking. Like, 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 oh, okay. You okay. know, like you ever like go on a date with a girl, and then like you're like it's like first date. Let's go first date, and you're just trying to get to know each other. And you guys have to play that like dumb twenty one questions game where you just ask questions about each other. Yeah. How many sisters do you have? Or what's your favorite color? I hate asking questions. Okay. Like I hate it. Like I, I. But you like people asking you. Yeah, questions. but if they ask me, man. I, so you like talking about yourself. Yeah, yeah. I like talking about myself. Well, but like, here's the. No, thing. no, no, no. I get. But, it. but the thing is, is though, like, I don't like to ask a question and they give me an answer, and I'm like, cool. And I'm like, I think about it. You want a discussion? Yeah, yeah. Like how so we're like kind ask of, me yeah. a question and I can make a discussion out of that, mm-hmm. but I can't make a discussion out of a question I ask. It's super weird. I no, don't know. I, well, because that's a little tougher because then you're. It depends on them. Because if you ask that person, hey, like, what's your favorite color? And they're like, blue. That And that's all they say. They don't yeah. give, like, a reason or anything like that, you know, or a cute, like, type Man, of shit. Yeah. Like, or you describe then, the reason why. They, it's like, oh, I really like blue because that's my mom's eye color. Or, yeah. oh, I think it looks good on me or whatever it may be. Give yeah. substance to it. It, so, it could be, a, it could be just, you could exactly. be like, I like blue because it's dope. Good enough. Yeah. I'll take that. But if you're just like, I like blue. Okay, uh, where were you on 9-11? That's like my next question. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm so bad at that. But like, if yeah. you ask me questions, I can keep going on and on and on for yeah. sure. Okay. I just usually follow up with another question after this. If you just give me, it's like, oh, my favorite color is blue. It's like, okay. Why is it your favorite color? But then, but then you're like, but then you're like prying. For yeah, answers. I'm not going to ask that question. That's oh, yeah, a stupid, and eventually I'm going to That's get just a stupid question. Yeah. So why is your favorite color blue? I'm, I don't, I don't what if they're like, fuck. I don't know, because... 
Go, go then at that me. point, I'm giving. I'm like, okay, I'm like, really great. Don't. That's a good color. You know yeah. what? Honestly, I, that's the best answer you give me. Don't be like, if they add, they told me like, don't ask me that question. I'm like, I like this date yeah. already. All right, all right. So I'm gonna do a, a tough question. I'm gonna do a fun one. All right, or let's do the tough one. What's the hardest time in your life? Like a struggle that you've had to deal with. That oh. like, and it could be current too if you want to talk. Honestly, man, I'll, I'll I'll say I'll say within. I'm not gonna say because of COVID, but the 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 COVID years. Yeah, were tough. Not just not because of the COVID itself. I was just going through so much. I'm sure like as many other people were, but but damn, I had it. I had it horribly bad for myself personally. Mm-hmm. And I, oh man, I I I wouldn't wish the shit that I went through on my worst person, on my worst enemy. Like for real, I, I went through yeah. some deep shit. Okay. So you know we're here. Are beautiful. All right. Well, let's throw a fun one. If you could live in any world, what world would it be? I like our world. No, our world is shit. (laughs) I was about to say, the fuck you mean? But I mean, like. But it is funny because if you think of fantasy worlds and stuff like that, it's like, do you want to live in the Lord of the Rings? See, okay, see, that's cool. For some reason, I was thinking of planets. Yeah. I don't like they said planets, and I was like, obviously our planet. No, no, I, know, I mean like you meant world, any not theoretical planets. world. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But it's like okay. all these like fake worlds. They're also fucked up in some way. Oh, they're just so fucked up. Honestly, the cool man, a Witcher might be dope if I could be like in the mm. Witcher. That would be pretty sick. It depends. It depends on what I could be in the worlds. You can yeah. be anything you want. Then I would want to be Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. Okay, cool. Obviously. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck Sweet. Yeah. Let's get up to the geeked up part then. This is where we're going to talk about some of the news and some of the some reviewing stuff. Uh, Venom 3's final trailer came out. Have you seen any Venom films? I know you've seen the first one, not the second one. Nope. Do you? I know you don't give a fuck. No. Nope. Do you know who Venom is? I've heard of him. He's yeah. the black Spider-Man, right? Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. I'm sorry. African-American Spider-Man. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have to be correct. What do you think of the last trailer? Looks, looks pretty good. good. Looks pretty good. Looks stupid, but it looks fun. I mean, that's how... Kind Did of you see the mark. first one? The first trailer that came out, because this is the final one. Did you see the first one when he when he says, let's see how fast we can make the horse go? I think you see oh, the horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, this I can't believe we have a trilogy of this before uh, the next Grand Theft Auto came out. Like, we have a Venom trilogy before the next Grand Theft Auto is coming out. Me and Alex were actually talking about this, about just Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, and we didn't look this up, but... Grand Theft Auto Five has been around for ten years. I think more than that. What What's your guys' prediction? Came out in twenty fourteen. Twenty thirteen. Oh, just a oh, so year less. Off. That's an old game. Yeah, twenty fourteen was PlayStation Four and Xbox One, and twenty fifteen was PC, and then twenty twenty two is uh, the current consoles. Mm. So think about it. It's been on the PS three, the PS four, and the PS five. Yeah, and it still racks in money every Tons of money. month. Tons That's of something money. that I don't understand and I can't wrap my head around is how they're able to generate money per month. All right, but the big question it's, is... It's just crazy. The big question to GT is, do you think they've made more money than the amount of money people have spent on strip clubs in GTA? Wait, what? Like, oh, how much money they've made? Pl- like, 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 think about going to the strip club in GTA and throwing your bills. I think about all those bills accumulated. Just in this GTA, not all of them combined? No, all, all the GTAs. Oh. Do you think that money is more than the amount of money that Rockstar has made? That's a good question. Uh, That's a very good Because question. I personally don't... I, I've helped a lot of girls through nursing school in GTA. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to be honest. I think GTA... I think Rockstar has made more money. Yeah. Because the, the GTA 5 is the highest grossing thing ever. And 6 will be surpassing. Oh, six, 6 is... I, I've said this. Bro, the strip I club, would I would take a month off to play that fucking game. Those strip clubs on GTA 6 going to be crazy. Oh, with the jiggle effect? Have you seen yeah, that? I saw people? the jiggle so effect, man. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, see, I'm going to lose so much. But I think people live, too. like not live, but like people like do all those role-playing shit in GTA 5, and I think that is why it makes so much money. Like, it's almost like still. Sims. That's why like uh, Red Dead 2 didn't really get the support it should have. Because GTA 5 was just still making more so money. money. Like, yeah. Red Dead 2 was their fun off project, which was amazing. I think that's Rockstar's best game ever made, is Red Dead 2. It's not, I, I still prefer the first one in terms of story and stuff like that. But Red Dead 2, like, the technical achievement in there, yeah. like, everything of that nature. Like, anytime I go back and play that game, my mind is fucking blown at the shit you can do in that game. I just thing. want another one. I want a Red Dead 3. Same. But I'm also so fucking fascinated to see a GTA 6. Like, 
I like that that trailer. I was like, this looks awesome. If they left you, if they left Red Dead alone, I'd be content with it. As much as I love the series, they're like, we're only gonna do two. I'm like, why? Right. It's been rumored for a while that after GTA Six, they're they're making a new IP in. Uh, I think it was rumored to be medieval. Which would be interesting, really interesting to see them tackle yeah, what, I mean, world, so. whatever. Usually, Rockstar, you know, they're, they're receptive to their audience, yeah. so you know, I'm cool with whatever. Yeah. Bring back Manhunt. Oh, <laughs> Manhunt, Bully, <laughs> Bully was awesome. Did you bully was Bully, cool. yeah, yeah, bully was in the day. Cool. Yeah, I'm a Bully. Um, but yeah, Venom Three trailer, a great uh, model game for me growing up. <laughs> Venom Three trailer, uh, pretty fun. I liked it. Yeah. I I need a. Uh, I'm sure the movie will be good. Hopefully, I don't know. Venom 2 was fine. Venom 2 was fine. Uh, up next, uh, Linkin Park is officially back with a brand new song, uh, The Empty. Is it The Empty Emptiness? Machine? Yeah, The Empty Machine. Uh, they also announced a new singer was taking Chester's spot, which is Emily Armstrong. And uh, were you a fan of Linkin Park? No, no I mean, I'm, I'm, I've heard a couple of their songs. Okay. I'll never really be a fan. I, saw, I, I did see that clip of the that new girl singing. Yeah. I heard a lot of controversy. She was all right. There's a lot of controversy. Uh, I'll let you start, Tyler. Yeah, I mean, just the controversy is people saying that she's basically replacing Chester, which mm -hmm. that's not true. You can't replace Chester. All right, all right. I'll say this, okay? Back in the a couple of years ago, I went to a Queen concert. Oh. Yeah. And it was it was the original band, so the old the old guys, man, the original guys, just you know. So, but you know, Freddie's not there. Adam, right? Adam, Adam, Adam Lambert, La Lambert. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I think it's Lambert. Yeah, Lambert. And and you know, obviously, that's that's the question: is is he gonna be Freddie or is he gonna you know how how who is he compared to Freddie in the group? Yeah, you know. And I went to the concert, and it was fucking fantastic. Um, like, if anybody were to be Freddie, it was. That, that guy, yeah. If I wanted anybody to be Freddie Mercury to replace him, it'd be that guy. But it's not like he was trying to be Freddie. He's doing his own. He he was being Freddie, but he was also adding himself with a twist to it, and it was like that was nice. He did he did it tastefully. Question for you, because uh, I I only listened to the whole shit of Quinn. I've never actually heard Lambert sing. Uh, do you know if on Spotify they've re-released stuff with Lambert singing? I, I can't confirm that. Okay, because me and him were talking about this. I don't mind her singing the live stuff because a lot of people have been complaining about like well she she yeah. did, she's doing a good and job, she's doing a that, good job but you can't replace Chester you're just doing the yeah. best you can for what yeah he that's was. why I like you gotta the, honor him yeah you gotta and honor that's why him. I like the Empty Machine because it's a new version of Linkin Park yeah and there's been controversy of people saying well, why didn't they just make a new band well you know Chester didn't start the band like he came in and made Linkin Park what it was. But at the same time, uh, what, what's the guy's name? I always Mike forget. Mike Shinoda. Ma yeah, Mike. Mike co-founded the damn band. It's his band. Mm -hmm. And if he wants to bring in Emily to sing, which I really like that Emptiness Machine. I think that's a great song. I just hope, I really hope, they do not re-record stuff and put it on Spotify. Live touring, totally fine. Have her sing "Numb" in the end, all that shit. Do not have her. I'm sure. I'm sure stuff. they'll put it like on Spotify, but it'll just be like. I hope optional. Like, yeah, they'll, like hope. they'll have. Yeah, I mean, old they'll always have the old stuff. And I just, the, I mean, there's no, there's no, yeah. there's no wrong with that. I mean, if you know, if someone likes it, yeah, you know, they want to listen, they can listen to it. Yeah, and it's just can, tough. You know it's I mean? just tough because I feel like that's the type of stuff that like I wouldn't be okay with. But I don't know. I really like their the new Lincoln song. The Lincoln Park fan base is very passionate. Oh yeah, very like, passionate. Super. There. I mean, the and, amount of people that have tacked her, which. I, I did see something. I don't know if you saw how like it came out that she apparently supported Danny Masterson, uh, the that '70s show guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But then she like came out and said I went to one court trial and didn't yeah, yeah, whatever. She went over her explanation and, like she didn't really support him. And then there was like, well, she's Scientologist, and I'm like, okay, well, people also fucking still watch Tom Cruise movies. So yeah. so let's chill the fuck out let, on that. Let, A bunch of your favorite you know, celebrities you know, are man, into Scientologists. Scientologists. If they want to believe in Scientology, let them, man. That's their, that's their business. Yeah. yeah. You might have your opinions, but yeah, man, don't, don't let it get yeah. to the... Per like, like, Tom Cruise, like Tom Cruise, you know, like... He's still fucking... He's still one of the biggest movie stars. Exactly. You know, you know, but I, I you know, it's like, it's like this comedian that I heard, you know, talent is more important than morals. <laughs> you know? I don't know about that, but... No, no, no. Talent's more important. Like, like this, this comedian, his name is Gerard Carmichael. Do you know who he is? Yes. Yeah, he has no stand up from a long time ago, and he's talking about how stand or how um, uh, that's more important than talent's more important than morals. And he was explaining it in his joke, he was like, "All right, well, let's talk about it. like nine eleven, horrible, sure. Everybody remembers September eleven for the nine eleven attacks, but for me, 
And more importantly to me, I remember 9-11 as the day Jay-Z released the blueprint. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> and, 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 you know, to, to him... You know, talent was more important than most because you know he. Yeah. You know he. I remember in the, in the stand up, he's saying like, he's like, Dad, like his dad was calling. Me, he's like, Have you heard? And he's like, Have you? Yeah, yeah, I've heard. He's like, We're under attack. And he's like, Yeah, by dope beats by Timbaland. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. You know. So this like, is why he's one of the most fucked up stand up comedians. I love honestly, I love his work. Underrated, but you know, talent sometimes is more important than morals. And I think Tom Cruise, if if you're such against Scientology and you used to watch his movies. Is, my, is the exact point of that. You know what I mean? I'm going to throw a controversial one out here. Hmm. R. Kelly. Oh, man. I think, I think, I, I think as a. I've I only liked like two songs by him, though, like my entire life. The Ignition so, Remix? Yeah. Oh, so funny. I'm not huge on him. I don't. I'm not either, but I can recognize that he is a very talented artist. Hmm. He, yeah. do, you, do, you, do you still listen to R. Kelly? No. Oh, do, anybody in your family still listen to R. Kelly? No. Yeah, see, I think as a society, we agree that, like, once you piss on a little girl, I mean, that's kind of it for you. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of that. other I mean, there's more. There's more there's, I mean, yeah, there's more. more I mean, there's way more to it. Okay, you guys want to talk? Does anyone still listen to Diddy? No, uh, I don't. I'll be honest. I've never really listened to Diddy much in the first place. I was never really like, would you listen to, oh, some Diddy? I've never, never yeah. really been like that, so... I was watching uh, Get Him to the Greek the other day, and I totally forgot he's in that movie, and oh, yeah. I was like... Yeah, I'd be seeing, oh, yeah. I'd be seeing like him in like some stuff, like some like, clips or like some acting things, yeah. and I'm like, Ugh. I was actually watching a, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and they were like talking about like meeting Diddy and shit like that. And they're like mm-hmm. really excited to meet Diddy or whatever, and I was just like, oh, this episode did not play out no. well. No, no, it did not age very well. But that's that's how some media is, which is always interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, uh, fuck Diddy, right? I think we can all say fuck Diddy. I don't want to fuck Diddy. No, I, I don't want to say that. I do. I don't fuck Diddy. That. Fuck R. He, Kelly. I'll say it. I don't and give a are fuck. Are you say that about Drake then? I don't like... Yeah. I have, I actually stopped listening to him. Really? Yeah, I don't really like him anymore. I've, like, al- I've always been like, you know... I just like his older stuff. Like, uh, his older stuff, yeah. But, but I, I just... I, I'm, not, I'm not like an occasional Drake listener. Like, you know, I'll listen to him every once in a while, but not too much. But like, lately... It, it doesn't I, hit. I, it doesn't hit because I just, I just think I'm as a pedophile, so I just can't. <laughs> I, I just Shout can't. out Kendrick. Like, Shout like, out. Dude, Super Bowl is... I cannot wait to hear people chanting. No. See, certified no, pedophile. I, certified. I, I have, a, I have a complaint with the Super Bowl halftime show. I really don't what? think Kendrick Lamar should do it. He thinks that what, Lil Wayne... Will I, absolutely, I absolutely believe that Lil Wayne should perform the halftime show in his hometown where he has set in the past. He's like, I've always wanted to do it. Interesting that he's not. He, he's always... He, he said he's... He said in the place, like, I would love to do the halftime show in New Orleans. I would love to do it. And they're having it this year. Mm-hmm. And they chose Kendrick Lamar. And I understand why. But give the people what they want and give us Wheezy yeah, on the stage. And sure. that's not me being as a biased yeah. like Wheezy fan. Like that's man, he like that that's his hometown. That's yeah. New Orleans. Come but the, on. the only thing that sucks to that though, it, we all know why they picked Kendrick. I mean, yeah, absolutely. they For want sure. they want that viral clip they of want, the entire they they, audience screaming "Certified Lover Boy," "Certified Pedophile," yeah, they, "Wop Wop Wop." Yeah, exactly. Wop. Want, or the A minor part too, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, you know he's just gonna fucking keep doing that little like. I get it, but if you really want to pay real respect, you, man, you gotta put Little Wayne on there, and I'm pretty sure Kendrick knows that too. Yeah, but, but isn't Wayne with Drake? So man, who gives a shit? Yeah. It's the whole rap. We, we, that's we, the whole we, rap life. We, no, we, we, Weezy's one of those just chill guys now. You know, he's no for I, sure. He, sure, sure, he fucks with Drake. I'm sure he fucks with Kendrick. It's all about uh, what? What's the fuck? I mean, every time someone performs at the halftime show, they always have something coming out. And that's the only reason because they don't get paid for that shit. So I'm assuming Kendrick's album will drop. At least, at least make Kendrick or at least make Little Wayne a surprise guest. During that would be cool. Wayne. I'd be some. I'd give be me down some. For that. If switches he, sides. If, if he <laughs> comes if he's out. not if he's not there singing at least a couple of his own songs, I'll be I'll be a little upset, honestly. I don't think he will. I don't think so. Yeah. I would love like, to believe, but not man. even close. But yeah, man, I can't wait. Uh George, me and Tyler watched a really cool movie this week. You told me it was that substance movie? Yeah. So let me read the synopsis. Uh it's about a fading celebrity who decides to use a black market drug, a cell replicating substance that temporarily creates a younger, better version of herself. Uh I didn't know what to expect going into this movie. I was telling him prior that uh I kept getting the invite for this. I'm like, what fuck what 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 is this movie? And so I looked at the the invite and I was like, oh, okay, it sounds cool. Let me see who directed this. And I I watched and this director made a, a smaller movie 
fucking like almost 10 years ago called Revenge. And it's awesome. It's super brutal, super bloody. And I was like, okay, I got to see this. He went with me. And Tyler, uh, how are you feeling? Uh, definitely a lot better. Yeah? You still thinking about some moments? Oh, well, there's a lot of moments. I can just actually think about it because, as you know, my freaking head was put into a blender. He didn't talk to me almost the entire way home. That's nice. Like, it's one of those movies that you're just like, what the fuck did I just watch? But in a good way. Like, and that's kind of what I liked about it is because some movies are weird to be weird. And some movies like this are weird, but it makes sense. Like with the weirdness and every single thing happening, it, you never feel like, ah, that that's a little off course. Like you believe that this would legitimately happen. Um, and that's what I kind of dug about the movie was that it feels real. Like even if it's like such an out there kind of thing, like you would believe that like, and even like all the rules that they put into the substance, like a, so, like, one of the big rules is that, like, when they separate, each of them have to, for seven days, the normal version comes, or the perfect version comes out. Seven days later, she has to switch back with the other one. Hmm. And then vice versa. If they don't, there's shit that happens to that. So, and when you see that rules being broken, it's... It's a fast turn. Yeah. It's yeah. disgusting. Because okay. there's a... We're, we're not going to dive super into spoilers, but there's a part where the perfect version goes... Ah, oh, just one more day. Just one more day. Yeah. And then it says three months later. Oh, shit. And that's when you're like, oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, because after that three-month turn, you're like, what the fuck? And that what the fuck is only a one what the fuck. Because then it gets even worse. Oh, it, that that scene. Yeah, I open that it. scene. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's yeah. insane. I, I, I mean, I highly recommend The Substance. I thought it was fucking phenomenal. It's one of my favorite films of the year. I'm, I'm actually going back and forth if it's my favorite. If it defeats Dune 2 is my favorite film of the year. I like, would definitely say that it beats Dune 2. I mean, I, I don't blame you. Like, I, Because right now it's Dune, Furiosa, and then The Substance, I think, for my top three. I think that's what Furiosa I have. Furiosa came at. out this year? Yeah. Furiosa was cool. Furiosa was fucking awesome. That was cool. That was really good. Yeah. No, I'm going to say Substance is my favorite film of this year. Yeah, it's so fucking wild. It's a horror movie, and you're not ex- like, you and it's expect an a horror movie old to be school, as good. It's an old-school horror film. It feels like The Shining, like Stanley Kubrick would have made this movie. Like It feels like he possessed the lady who wrote and directed this movie and like directed a new horror film from him. Interesting. Like That's what I was really impressed by, it. and it feels old-school. Like You just don't get movies like this. Like when we walked out, and I told the rep what I thought. I told her, we need more movies like this in theaters. Like that that's exactly how I felt. And it and it felt great to say that because it wasn't like weirdly enough, I would actually recommend it to almost anyone, even if it is weird, because it just makes sense. You know what I mean? Like it, it I, I there's a lot of weird shit I've watched where I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'd recommend that to the po- the major populace. But like this film, I actually would, especially if you like things like The Shining, like Clockwork Orange, uh That's a really good comparison, Clockwork Orange. Yeah. So, I think I've seen like 45 minutes of Clockwork Orange and I was like, what is the big deal? Do you like The this? Shining though? Shining's cool. I think you might like this then. The, sh- like the, no, the Shining's cool. Clockwork so, Orange. I was like, what the? I love Clockwork, Clockwork Orange. Orange. You know a movie wow. I don't get the big hype about, honestly? Citizen Kane. Oh, I don't either. I think it's the most overrated movie ever That movie ever made. sucks so much. Yeah. I saw it like a year and a half ago or something like that. It's I was awful. Like, what the fuck is this? I, I get at the time why it was, but I don't understand the hype. I, I'm in the, there's a movie about the making of that film on Netflix called Mank, and it's really well done. But it like I would prefer to watch that than Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane sucks, dude. So, have you ever tried watching it? No. It's, nah. I've tried watching it three times. And every time I just do not understand the hype for it that sucks, movie. It sucks, dude. It sucks. Citizen King is awful. I was really worried when you were like, you know what movie sucks? I'm like, what the fuck is this man going to say? Citizen King is But awful. yeah, go watch The Substance. Highly, highly recommend this movie. As well as I got to watch The Killer's Game. It's a brand new movie with Dave Bautista. And it's, uh, it's about a veteran assassin who's diagnosed with a life-threatening illness and authorizes a kill on himself so the life insurance can get paid out to his girlfriend. Mm. But after he mm. orders this kill, uh, it turns out the doctor fucked up. He's not dying. He just needs to get a massage and wear glasses. So now he has to kill 
tons and tons of assassins because he, he hasn't been wearing glasses so it's like uh, so and years of trauma to his eyes and shit like that so this movie i don't know what to fucking expect because it's dave batista i like him as an actor but like you know he's not one of the best in this movie is he like he's not buffing this one right I, I mean, he's still big as fuck. He's skinnier. Well, he's same a, skinny, yeah, I saw yeah. the pictures. He's skinny. He's looking good. He looking but good. there's a part without his shirt on. I'm like, I think that skinny photo people need to like, you don't know what he looks like underneath. He's he's more defined. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and yeah. he just looks healthy. Like he looks healthier. Um, but this movie's awesome. It's so much fun. It's a nice date night movie. It's so fucking harmless. It's not deep. It's not like John Wick where they're like delving into the world. It's of It's called assassins. The Killer's Game. Yeah. And it's harmless. It's. I, yeah, I yeah. love that. Yeah. No, I love it's that. It's a because it's like it's not even thought provoking. Like I watched this and I just fucking enjoyed it. Wow. Am I gonna go watch it again? Am I gonna buy it on Blu-ray? No. But I just watched it and I enjoyed the ever living shit out of it. That and fun. it's gory. It's bloody. The action, and that's where I, because anytime I go to an action movie, everything else could suck. Everything else could suck. The fucking story could suck. The characters could suck. The the chemistry could suck. All this stuff. But if your action is top notch, and I can see what the fuck's happening, it's not looking like a monkey shaking up the whole fucking thing like we've that. talked about. I hate that. This movie, you can see every little piece happening. There's these, uh, and it's kind of like um, Bullet Train, like with how wild some of the assassins uh, are. There's a, like how do you train. say boots in Spanish? Bo- butas? Or how do you how do you say it? Do you guys know? It's like, Bota. yeah. There's an assassin named that because he wears cowboy boots with the, the things on the back and that's how Those he kills spurs. people. Yeah, he kills them with the spurs. That's cool. And so there's a lot of fun aspects of that and then how does Dave Batista then take him out and kill him? There's two uh, brothers that ride by, or, uh, motorcycles and try to kill people with them. And bro, he just kicks one of the bikes straight on, and that dude flies off and gets impaled. And there's just gore that shoots out everywhere. And yeah, it's like totally it's, harmless, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah it yeah, is it's to a certain extent, it's but it's it's a fun romantic comedy with action in there too. And I just I enjoyed it. Like it's again, I'm not gonna think deeply about this movie. I'm probably gonna forget about it in a month. But Dave Batista has good chemistry with Sofia Botello. He's badass as shit. He murders a bunch of people. And in the end of the day, I walked out going. I would pay to watch. Like I would like recommend that to people. Like if you're just wanting a fun date night or something. So I'd give this movie. So just so you know how we review stuff, we don't do sevens because Phil thinks sevens are too safe. Especially if you look at IGN reviews, 99% of the time it's a fucking seven. So I would give this a 6.5 on my actual scale. I'd give it like a C. So so a seven. Yeah. But that's my channel. But you can say 6.9 and make it close enough. There we go. Or 8. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we forgot to review the substance. Uh, what would be your score? Oh, I already said it. Nine oh, out did you 10. say it? 9 out of 10? Okay. Uh, I would go 10. I, I, yeah. I really fucking like that movie. Um, other than that, uh, dude, you, you've been playing Black Myth Wukong and Quidditch. Yeah, uh, dude. So which one do you want to start off talking about? Oh, we can start off with Quidditch. That sounds kind of okay. Fun. So I haven't gotten a chance to play it. I've been too busy. So, like, tell me a little bit about Quidditch. honestly. Okay, so I haven't actually played it in a couple of days, so it's kind of kind of already waning out on me. Okay, but playing it originally is fine. like if you want a Quidditch game that we've been asking for, this is the one. The one that they should have put in Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, for sure. That's what I said <laughs> for sure. Why not? You know? Like, why? I'm still. That's Hogwarts Legacy. Awesome game. Awesome game. How do you not have Quidditch in there? I I, re- I really don't know. I really don't know. But I will say it, it's really fun. It's really fun. The only the only thing I have with it is that it's like three v three. Uh huh. You know, but you can have like six people flying around your team at the same time, five or six or something like that. But each of you play it like two different positions. Yeah. The thing is, though, is that no one wants to be the keeper. No one wants to be protecting the hoops. Everyone wants to be chasing the snitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Controls pretty good. Controls are actually not too bad. Okay. It's actually pretty fun. Flying controls always hit or miss me. Depending it's not. On what it's the game not too is. bad. It's okay. not too bad. It's actually pretty good. Um, is it intense? Yo, it gets pretty intense. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna lie, because it, the because the snitch is not like you get the snitch and and you automatically win the game. The snitch only gives you thirty points. It's first two hundred okay. wins. Okay. You have like, but that's a little bit more fair, I guess. Yeah, so yeah. I, you, I you can have, understand that. You have balance. five minutes. Uh, whoever gets two hundred points in the five minutes wins, or whoever has the lead wins. You know, so the snitch will show up periodically, like once, like two or three times a game. Is it pretty hard to get? Honestly, I suck at being the seeker. Okay. And it's hard. All you got to do is just fly through the hoops enough and then like the bar fills up. And then once it fills up enough, you can press R2 and grab it, the snitch. And that's how you get it. But it the turns on this thing is 
absolutely insane because like it'll have like a pattern of where the snitch travels like it'll go in a straight line or maybe change a little zigzag bit. a bit yeah yeah zigzag but then when it gets to like the borders because you can't like you know the invisible wall you know once it does that it'll just like bounce off in a different direction and you can drift in the game but it's it's not it's not good enough to like catch like the circle that as soon as it hits the okay. wall it bounces off so you'll always i mean like 90 percent of the time you're gonna miss that See, this game's interesting to me because it's free on playstation if you have playstation plus right now but like i don't know if i would ever pay for this game no honestly i wouldn't pay for the game i would like, like i just how do you support quidditch for that long you know what i mean like like, like if it was like tw- mm, very, that's a hard thing like like honestly yeah no I, I, what do you add skins <laughs> where you can play as the fucking snake from chamber of seekers right so they have so they have skin so they have that like might a me se- actually play it <laughs> so so <laughs> so they have like a season pass that you get everything is free there's no micro transactions or anything like that but they have like a season pass and then you can get like different skins from characters in the game for example like um I have like both uh, the the Weasley twins. Oh, okay, that's my, cool. Like, you know, like, like like you can customize how your team, like your players, you can customize. Like, look, it's not very deep customizations, but you know, you can customize them in a little bit. You know, but you can have like these skins where like you know, like I have like Ginny as like my ba- as like my beater or something. Like okay, that, you know what I mean? Like you know these little things. If you get enough coins, you can get like the like they have like the the Malfoy the uh, the Cedric Diggory one. And then, like, you can have those skins for them. You know, like that. Do they have the professors? I, I imagine they don't, uh, right? I, or do I didn't they? see any professors yet, but it's, I mean, it's fun. Like, I'd want a team of uh, Dumbledore, Snape, and then who's the, the professor? Uh, McG- McGonagall? McGonagall. Yeah, like, all three of them on my team. I'm okay. sure that'll be, like, some I want to play as Dobby. Oh, do- dude, fuck no. it. A whole team of Dobbies. A whole Dobby. team of Dobbies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, like, later on. As Hopefully. Like that, you know? But, like, for a free game, honestly, it's fun. If you want so to play Quidditch. So, what would you give it out of 10? Well, skip the 7, too. Skip the 7. Sounds like a 6.9. I'll give, I'll give it a 6.5. <laughs> okay. I'll give it a 6.5. I, I mean, I, I was playing quite a bit of it for a little while. And then the replayability, I mean, I haven't played it in a while. Mm-hmm. That being said, there's other games that I'm attending to. Like Black Myth Wukong. Like Black Myth Wukong and like NCAA of 25, mm-hmm. the new 2K. FIFA comes out next week. So, you know, like. There's a lot of, dude. And then A October, lot of sports games right now. Dude, October. I, I have a game coming out every fucking week in October. Mm-hmm. I have Diablo's add-on starts off the month. Then I got Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, which is like, do you guys remember uh, Budokai Tenshi, like for the PlayStation 2? I do. This is the sequel to it. Okay. Oh, so okay. it's like huge. Then the week after that's Black Ops 6. And then the month ends on fucking Dragon Age, the Veil Guard. That's the only one that I care Dude, about. I was watching the gameplay yesterday. So good, ain't it? And the hair, the hair animation looks fucking Man, insane. That game looks... Dude, it looks so real. And I'm like... And the girl who took that footage of the gameplay was talking about it how she goes i put this character together in 60 seconds because they didn't give us a lot of time and she goes i was blown away by the hair animation wow it was like like mind-blowing to me how yeah, this no, game that's, looks no like Reason that game looks get a ps5 fun. pro no no <laughs> I, I i've been a, a fan of dragon age since the start man i love that franchise Same. Uh, very very inquisition underrated. inquisition great Fucking all, all of them masterpiece. all of them i love. love that love that series that franchise but you you talked about the playstation 5 Hi, do you All want right. to talk about Wukong? Yeah, did you want to talk a little bit more about oh, Wukong can, before? Hey, Wukong, Wukong. Give is, me your score out of 10 for that one. Oh, I'll, uh, 10, I'll give it an 8.4. Okay. 8.4. So it's a really have, fun You game. haven't beaten it yet, though? Huh? You haven't beaten it yet? No, I'm in the last chapter now, okay. I think. So I'm getting pretty close to the end, but I've been taking my time with it. Okay, I'm so all secret stuff. I'm not sold on this game like whatsoever, and I don't know what it is. Like Every time I watch the gameplay, it looks cool, but I just I can't like I can't buy it for 70 it's 70 right well, maybe okay I just can't buy it for 70 bucks is there a story to this that's actually good is the story good or is it no, just the story's fantastic I mean it's it's based off the, the book yeah. journey to the west and it plays is it emotional young. is it yeah like, yeah they play they play it very well it's emotional it's a funny story as well it's very um dramatic like it's a good story on top of good gameplay okay like because I've never seen anyone talk about the story and I think that's like where my like mind point goes to because like if i'm gonna play a single player game i want a story i'm gonna get invested in right no it's 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 a really good story i'm a fan of the story i love the characters there's only there's only a couple of handful of problems with the game that i have one is the voice acting if you have it in english it i heard it's it's so awful it's so awful i have mine set to chinese or mandarin okay. mandarin okay. really um and you know like it sounds better but even then like wukong still sounds 
a little bit weird himself, but the other actors and stuff sound good. The only real other gripe I have with the game is the invisible walls. Ah, uh, yeah, Man. where you think you can be running somewhere. I've I, seen that. Like, like yeah. every single map in that game, I'm like, I think I can go there, and it's like, nope, you just can't. You yeah. Just can't. Nope. And it, it bothers me because I I'm one of those gamers who want to explore everything mm-hmm. and I want to be thorough. You know, and it's bugs, and, and, yeah. And, and I just I can't even you know, and I'm like, oh okay, well I guess this is the map. I, I mean, it's fine. I, I like the I like it if it's very linear like that, but don't mm-hmm. but don't confuse me like that. But besides that, the gameplay is, phen- like the combat is so much fun. It's it's just hack and slash. Everybody tries to compare it to Souls, you know, type shit or any something different, God of War, or whatever. But it it's just a hack and slash with uh. Souls like mechanics, okay, and like just like how like you rest at different like checkpoints and stuff like that. It's that, but it's not like Dark Souls difficulty. I mean, there there are some hard bosses that for sure, for okay. sure, there are some really tough, super cool. I'll add bosses. There's some bosses. I'm like, wow, this is awesome. I dig this that. Is awesome. Okay, but maybe it's, when it's cheaper. Mm-hmm. Well, I I think I told you, I'm waiting for the physical copy because if I'm gonna buy it, I'm just gonna buy it physically. It's it's a fun game for sure. Like I, I I highly recommend it. I I think I think you would like it honestly if okay. you actually sat down and gave it the time. Okay. Yeah. So it's fun as long as you remember it's just a hack and slash. That's just fine. Like, I like hack. And just slashes. dodge and hack, dodge and hack. Dodge I've been in the hack. mood to play Devil May Cry again. Like go through the whole. Nah, that's uh, a fun five one. Five games. That's a fun. Yeah, man. No, but Wukong. Oh, yeah. That stuff is a, it's a blast so far. All right. PlayStation Five Pro. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sold on this fucking thing whatsoever. Uh, and I think just looking at the, I don't, did you guys even watch the announcement or you guys just read about it? Okay. So I watched this announcement and I'm like sitting there and I'm like, I can't tell the difference. So I watched the uncompressed version, which is on their site where you can see it. Like you can see the tiny difference. It's worth 700. Do you know what would have made this announcement 30 times better? Ghost of Tsushima 2 running on the PS5 pro. Here's what it looks like. You have nothing to compare it to. Wow. Why didn't they do that? Why didn't they announce another fucking game with this to come to where I have no comparison to? You used a Last of Us port, which has been ported fucking three times at this point, and I have the remaster, and it looks good. But guess what? It looks the fucking same to me. Mm-hmm. I understand the whole concept of people have to choose between performance and fi- I, Mark Cerny always has a really comforting, comforting voice, but he's like before uh, before performance and fidelity. Well, what if we could, you could do both? Cool. So a big aspect of me, because I'm not going to go into the details of like all the little things. Like They call this thing of the PSSR. This is like their driven upscaler. This is their big thing that's supposed to make all the games look better. But I, I just, for $700, I literally, and it, it doesn't come with the disk drive, which is like fucking blows my mind. And then it doesn't come with it. And then yeah, a stand. And they're all sold out now. You can't fucking buy this disk drive anywhere else, which I... I don't think it's because people are anticipating to buy the PS5 Pro. I think it's because scalpers are getting ahead of it and knowing that they can resell that shit for people who do want the disc drive. Same thing with the vertical stand. You market it with a vertical stand. And I don't I don't have my PS5 vertical, but what? You have to pay for it separately? That's fucking stupid. Yeah. I just look at this thing and I'm like like the FOMO of like not like of like wanting it to just say you have it is like something, but at the same time it's 7 hundred dollars i don't even have the phone of that i my ps5 works perfectly well and exactly it makes no like, like i have truly. a perspective just, on this huh it's not about selling the ps5 pro it's warming you up for the price that the ps5 6 gets released for that, because that, that thing is going that, to be yeah. so expensive it's going to be it's a trying to warming people up because oh the ps5 pro was seven eight hundred dollars if you buy the disc drive and the stand I'm sorry, but if the next PS5 or the PS6 comes out and it is more than eight hundred dollars, if it's more than seven hundred, I will not buy it. I, and I don't blame you. I would still buy it. Well, at that point, it's what are you offering? Because console gaming is supposed to be like the easy thing of it. It's not PC gaming where you have to check your PC, you have to do yeah. this stuff. It's yeah. supposed to be the good. Is it's a more accessible yeah. version of being but able to play video games? But that's why games, and it's not accessible if it's yeah. that much money. I hope this pro fails. That genuinely, I hope it fail. It won't. It probably won't. People will buy it. I would probably buy it if it was cheaper, like six hundred bucks. I could, I think I could like look at that again once I see newer games on it. But a report came out where so I was like, okay, you know what? You know what? I'll buy it. GTA Six. 
probably run it like they're saying this this shit this shit should run 120 frames per second right every game should be running 60 to 120 gta 6 is still only going to be 30 frames per second apparently on this fucking thing nice so why why it's just there are so many bad announce a uh, bad things about this announcement to where i was just like what the fuck are you choosing to do here like I said, it's just warming you up for the oh, insane it is. price of the PS6. Yeah. And then one of my friends put a really good thing out there. Do you know why a lot of games on the PS5 and Xbox and whatever are not optimized like at all? Like why some of them can't run 60 frames per second or 4K? Because it's possible. Game Developers have been able to get the games working on that. Most of those games come out on PS4 still or the older Xbox. I don't even remember what the Xbox One. So it's like they have to oblige to those. And then also the, also the Series S, that little fucking Xbox, they have to oblige to that too. That's the reason that Black Myth Wukong is not on Xbox is because they cannot figure out how to get it on the Series S. And also because they said Xbox sucks. But <laughs> that's, here, that's here nor there. But they're like, why should we spend the time to try and get it on the Series S where it's just probably going to cost more money for us to try and figure that out? I don't blame them. Like that that's just like my eye-opening thing. So... I don't know. This thing gives me an aneurysm even fucking thinking about it. I was debating on like still pre-ordering it just to hold the pre-order. And then if it does sell out, fucking flipping the damn thing. You won't be able to flip it. Eh, I don't know. People flip that PlayStation, which the PlayStation portal was more affordable. But there's crazy people out there. If people would pay $1,000 for a PlayStation 4 with PT on it, I think people would That's pay. That's different. You can't get PT anymore. You literally If you cannot. can't get a PS5 Pro though. But you they'll, know they'll, that they're going to they're they'll still make being more P, They'll make more PS5s. They're not going to make PT. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. People are, the majority of people are already burnt. The only people that are going to get the PS5 Pro are the ones that can actually, yeah. I mean, but they want to hash out I that I think money. the reason they Super also, nerds. I think the other reason they have the price for this too is there are so many people still just playing on a PS4 that's still not upgraded. And I think. And why would those people get, jump from a PS4 to a PS5 Pro when they can when play this? Get a regular PS5. That's what I think they want them to do. I they think they're trying to show them that this thing's seven hundred bucks. Well, until they start making games only on next gen consoles, because the you know the day that this will move over is uh, is uh, the two um, K is it still on PS4? Do you know? Okay, it's Call of Duty. Obviously. It's it's Call of Duty and sports games. The second you make all those games only on next gen console, that will force so many people to go and buy that next version yeah that's that's just yeah, the truth I, you know because uh, like i'll play like 2k and i'll go look at uh like just like a a new jump shot to yeah. make or something like that or i'll look it up mm -hmm. and when you look it up you have to be distinctive be like okay nba 2k 25 best jumper ps5 yeah you can't be like ps4 mm -hmm. cause, or you just you know you type that because it'll give you like some guy who does it on PS4 and it's actually different, like like two like two K is different on the from PS4 to PS5 yeah. every year. It's not like vastly different, but there's like little things that change. Like I remember it was like one I don't know last year, maybe like two two Ks ago. Like if you had next gen, you were able to be in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, if you weren't in a PS5, you were a next gen or a, a past gen. You were like in a much smaller see town so it's like they they have to it's condensed. a different type of thing so more yeah which personally i kind of like the condensed mm -hmm. version rather than a yeah. giant city what time we at by the way 113 113 cool um yeah i don't know would you guys what would you guys buy the ps5 pro for like how much well you, you don't count you <laughs> just because you don't give a fuck how much no, how God. much how much could i sell my ps5 for now 250 you're the digital version right yeah 250 then i would sell that and then pay maybe an additional 150 for the pro okay like i wouldn't pay shit for it okay. i'd pay like four or five hundred bucks tops fair enough he, here's what i would pay actually only if and, and that's only if i trade in my ps5 i'm See, not paying like the full I, price I'm the that. only way i would buy a ps5 pro and sell the current one which i haven't turned on my playstation probably about a month yesterday ago. i looked at it you haven't turned that thing on in 20 days damn yeah, I was like going through my. I was trying to see who was on, but like you're one of the next ones after. Like it shows everyone who's yeah. online, and it literally said, I think it said 20 days. The only way I would actually buy it, or even consider it, is if Cyberpunk 2 was optimized for it. 
and it came, it was like, oh yeah, and we released Cyberpunk that's too. That's where it is. They did not show any get new games that are optimized. I still that's that's what really sells care. me. But see, that's what sells me on it. Like again, but now hearing like if GTA is really thirty frames for why the fuck do I need to get this thing then? I don't think I've ever owned a like a pro system before. I had the PS4 Pro, and it, I mean that was actually a note. It was a it was sixty frames per second for some games, and then even the the Xbox One X, I got it because it was like if you trade in your old Xbox, it was like fucking fifty bucks more. And I was like, whatever, I'll just do it. That console was really good. I still use that console. I use it in my living room to play Xbox games. Like that, I was actually kind of genuinely surprised by that one. But I don't know. I, I just think PlayStation is a uh, is dying uh, in some ways, and so is the gaming market. But what do you think the reason why it's so ex- expensive is because uh, they need to recoup some money from Concord? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I went to seven stores looking for the physical copy of that shit. Of Concord? Yeah, because it's going for like $300 on eBay. So do you know what Concord is? That Yeah. I went to like so many stores because I was like, th- I saw it physical and I was like, eh, I don't even want the game. And then they announced it was, but the reason is, is because they have to take it off all the shelves because it just like, but yeah, it's like selling for like 300 bucks on eBay now. That's insane. I wanted to buy multiple ones, one to keep and then one to, a bunch to resell, but I couldn't find it. Guys, we got viewer questions and uh, one comes from my sister, Maddie Pope. If you could be in any movie universe that was released this year, what would you pick? She said she'd pick Beetlejuice. Dune. Okay. Uh, I don't know. That's a bad word. I don't even know what movies I've seen that came out this year. So I don't even know. I think you should live in the Planet of the Apes world. I mean, that's pretty cool. There you go. Um, I think if I had, to, I don't even know what, you know, like the new movies. I don't. Pro- yeah, pro- I'll, I'll just say the monkeys. I'll say okay, the monkeys. Cool. Yeah. Uh, off the top of my head, uh, if I could be a Transformer, Transformers one, because it was so cool to see Cybertron like working. <laughs> what if you can't be a Transformer? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I couldn't what be if a you transformer, were, what if you were a Decepticon? Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, as long as I'm like can transform and shit, that's fine with me. But like, what if you're like the shittiest transformer? You can still can be like the shittiest. Like, like, like all the other transformer ones left. Like at a you. minor. Like that's what they like. Mm-hmm. There's a whole. Th- it amazes me how deep this movie actually gets. They have a whole social hierarchy, and coal miners are like the bottom tier. They can't transform. Like the they can't do anything. Fiat. Yeah. I'm so glad you specified coal miners. Okay. Yeah, but I let's agree. say you're a coal miner. Fine, no. Do they tran- do they still transform? No, man. They right. can't. They can't transform because uh, the lowest level of transformer that can actually transform. Would you still do? You it? know what? Fuck it. Uh, I'll just say Deadpool and Wolverine's world because I can do whatever. No, you're a civilian in that one. That's fine. Nope, they kill you. <laughs> fuck you, man. Yeah, uh, they're, they're they're doing some shit and you're in the way and then you just suffer. Okay. Fuck you. Uh, Zach DeCiso asks, if you had to recast any movie with the Muppets, but one human character remains the same, what movie would that be, and which human character would you keep? I don't remember who the cast, the humans cast are. You don't have to say the name, but you can say the character's name. Like, some people will say Gandalf, but everyone else is Muppets. Oh, dude. Well, let me think about this. You guys go first. Okay. Uh, one off the top of my head is Knives Out. I would love to keep Daniel Craig as the detective, but everyone else is a Muppet. And Kermit is the killer. Friday the 13th. Jason is the Muppet or Jason's the Muppet. Yes. Okay. (laughs) That's a tough one. I'm thinking of, it's gotta be a stupid movie for me. All right. Imagine Borat, right? Yeah. Is Borat the only human character? Yeah. Borat's the only human. Bro. Can you imagine the hotel scene with a Muppet and Borat? Yeah. Yeah. No, I I was thinking, I was thinking that part would be Miss Piggy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. That'd be the sloppiest top you've ever seen. <laughs> you know Miss right. Piggy gets down and dirty. Uh, um, moving on. Uh, Aaron Moriarty asks, what is your favorite video game of 2024 so far that you've gotten to play? Ooh. Honestly, the most the fun, the game that I've had the most fun with this year mm-hmm. was playing FIFA. Okay. And that's because I would play with my friends like all the time. Fair enough. And like it, you could have up to like 11 people on your team playing at the same time. So can you imagine like a 20, uh, a 22 full person lobby? Yeah. You know, like that, that's really fun. Like FIFA is really fun when you play with like at least three other people. That was the, the most fun for me. Fair enough. For sure. Tyler, any games? Or is your faith in gaming is done? 
Uh, fifth in gaming is probably done, but I mean, not considering it as an actual new game because it's been around for 10 years, I'd say Destiny, the final okay. shape. Hey, give me a question that's not game related. I have one. What's up? I'll give it in a second, though. Uh, okay. To give mine, um, fuck, what's it called? Uh, uh, final Fantasy. It's still my favorite game. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I still have it. It's still my I love I that still game. I think I put like five hours. It's a long game. It took me seventy five hours to beat. Yeah, I still have it. Yeah, only five hours in. Yeah, I I don't. I'll get to it maybe eventually. I don't know. I love the series. I love the franchise. I just literally have. Well, the last question doesn't come from uh, any viewers. This is one that comes from a movie that I watched called My Old Ass, which is about a girl who takes a shrooms trip and like takes shrooms or whatever, and ends up talking to her older version of herself that's thirty nine years old. Aubrey Plaza plays the older version of herself. And she basically like gives her tips like this is what you need to do to like help your life stay away from this guy named Chad all this stuff, and the movie starts kind of comedic and gets kind of low key kind of depressing, but I really like that idea of if you could go back and tell your younger self something, what would you tell them? And I want to end that pot. I want to end our podcast on that. Man, first, let, first of all, I'll that sounds like a with. great shrooms trip right there. Yeah, that sounds like yeah, she took some she took some good stuff right there. That's that white truffle. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? DMT. I think, but to be honest, I think they call it white truffle in the fucking movie. They got that. White I, I, if, I, yeah, if, I, if I remember, yeah, that's, that's, that's the shroom type. The white truffle so. is very popular. But if I man, whew. that's a deep question. I could say a lot of things. And but, and it, to just put it this way, it can't be monetized. Like invest in this. It has to be something like a little just, like get actual. Bitcoin, buy a house in 2007. Yeah. Even though you're 10 years old, don't listen to what your parents say. Yeah. No, man. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, though, I would I I would have invested in Bitcoin yeah. if I if I could. No, no, no shit, yeah, yeah. But man, re- re- real advice. Think, just think before you do something. You know, when I was younger, and even still to this day, to this day, I'll I'll do things without thinking. I'll just be sporadic about it, mm-hmm. and then I'll suffer the consequences later. So you know, just. Take take a deep breath. That's what I would have told myself. Take a deep breath before you do anything. Think about it. Then move. I every time I, 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 I personally I always notice when I take a deep breath before I think about something, it always come out better. Every time. I just take a deep breath. I'm like, okay, now think. I always do better, but sometimes I just get caught up in whatever I'm doing or whatever it is, and I won't. And that'll get me into trouble sometimes. Just breathe and think. And two live live go out you know I, when i was younger i used to go out all the time and i wish honestly i wish i stayed out longer not in terms of like getting and like stick you know, yeah yeah, you yeah. Know, anything bad you or don't anything. want a jersey shore it. yeah yeah but just you know get get more active you know and and st- stay funny you are funny no but stay like stay funny as in me personally, I think laughter is the best medicine. Yeah. Not nothing to me is more important than laughter, because if you can make laughter happen, you can make happiness happen, you can make love happen. You know, many things can stem from laughter. laughter. You know, and fr- friendships start that way, relationships start that way. You know, jobs, opportunities. You know, laugh. Be yourself. If you think something is funny. You know, say it appropriately, but, you know, just always make people laugh around you. Because if you can make people laugh around you, it feels, I feel bad about myself when I make people laugh. That's I great. do. Yeah. So when I make people laugh, I feel good about myself and I know I'm making them feel good. Okay. Even, you know, like for me, when, when my friends are struggling or they're going through tough times, one of the first things I say is, do you want me to send you memes? <laughs> That's what you usually do is you send memes. You so. know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like, you want me to just send you memes? I have tons of memes. Just you want me to send you clips of me just doing like you know like anything? Just laugh, mm-hmm. laugh. If you yeah. laugh, you can forget about the bad things. Always <laughs> laugh. Always stay funny. Always stay true, and always be honest. Always be honest. I love that, Tyler. What would you tell your younger self? I because I, I honestly I should have made you go last because I don't have <laughs> I don't have anything that deep, but I, I like that. Hey, uh, take more chances. Mm-hmm. Sure. Do new things. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, experiences are everything. Yeah. And most importantly, don't take anything too serious. Enjoy the ride. Fair enough. Oh yeah. Fair enough. Get Nothing. serious when it's time to, but when yeah. you're not, 
Why be serious? Exactly. Viewers, I don't know if you can hear the damn dog in the background. That is Coco. Shout out to Coco. She's Coco, to, she's I just met to, her today. She is beautiful. She's trying to share her uh, her thoughts on her younger self because she's an uh, old lady. Um, for Very me, right, young lady or dude, old she's lady. Wild. Um, for me, uh, if I was to tell my older or my younger self something, I think one of it is like. Don't let like the minor shit get you down. You know what I mean? I feel like so many, and I get it. It's like you go through a breakup in high school. It's the end of the fucking world to you. Right. And that, and it's, and it shouldn't be because then what a week later you're fine. Yep. Even if it was like a three, six month, whatever fucking amount of relationship it is, that would be my biggest thing is that. And also just be yourself. Like you guys knew I was like a geek and stuff, but I feel like a lot of us, are but you know i feel like in high school a lot of people try to hide that shit like that like oh you like video games you like anime you like movies where it's yeah. like nowadays like i have random people from high school that i talk like that i'll just run into and right. they'll be like oh like i saw this movie or like i'm in anime and like i'm like the fuck you are <laughs> you know like what the fuck i if you said that shit back in high school you're getting fucking thrown in the trash can right that's why you didn't yeah. yeah and like that's my whole thing is that like i would have started youtube like not to tell my younger self to start earlier but like i think if i would have told be yourself i would have started that shit in high school where some people did really start i remember we were doing like the short yeah. films and the stuff like that yeah. in high school. i mean you started it but yeah Mark- and that was weird but we just uh, had an audio glitch but Let's end the podcast here. Uh, thank you so much, George, for coming on thank to you, Into the you. Geek Glad First. To be here. I'm I hope you guys liked him. If you did, let us know. We'll bring him back. If you didn't, I'll probably still bring him back. But yeah, I'll be here. So fuck you. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys again. So, My name is Zach. This is Tyler. Tyler. And uh, we're going to head out. Have a great rest of your guys' day.